trusted you with pure information, and you're giving me attacks? Did you say pure information? <laughs> I don't know why that's the word I chose. I trusted you with pure information. I meant, like, like... It like makes sincere. it sound so profound, like you were, like, jacked into a cosmic alien supercomputer. <laughs> it's pure information! <laughs> My favorite perfume is Burberry Brit. Is it? I'm wearing it as we speak. I wear it all the time. What's it smell like? A big gold rotting Burberry? You you can literally smell me, so I would assume. I thought it perhaps more polite to ask than to <laughs> huff thine <laughs> shoulder. I think this little jellyfish will give me health. Oh! Nope. Or will it the jellyfish me. sting you like most jellyfishes in video games do? Is that a thing? Is it a thing that jellyfish sting you? No, and... that they kill you. No, but they sting you and hurt you, and like you said, you were low on life. Well, I didn't know. I thought it was a cute critter, so I tried to d kill, uh, kill it for a butterfly. I can see that it looked... It you looked... couldn't... You, can't, you cannot judge me for doing what I thought was right. It looked pretty cute, but I don't know. Ooh. I mean, just for future reference, just all jellyfish in video, video games and in real life. You know, be careful. Right. Be careful around the jellyfish. What about a Portuguese man of war? They'll sting you. Well, those you can just slap right in the face and they'll run away crying, the little <laughs> bitches. Portuguese man of war, more like Portuguese eat my ass. <laughs> I ain't afraid of no Portuguese man of war jellyfish. Never have been, never will be. Keep <laughs> dreaming. All you jellyfish hate watchers. You know what's you know you what's gonna happen. Go crying to your beer. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? What? Is I'm gonna go to the beach with you one day uh -huh. and film you with a jellyfish freaking out. And I'm gonna splice together you being like Portuguese man of war. I am such a stupid fucking. I don't know if you're ever gonna get away with this prank now that you warned me. And then every and time then, we go to the beach now, and I'll then be you're like, gonna be uh, a little bitch when we go to the beach. I'll be like, if Zoe pulls out her camera, I'm out of here. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get that and I'm gonna splice those two videos together, and you're gonna look like an idiot. Fuck, I'm fucked. I know you are. Well, who would be the princess of the moon? Oh, this girl. Oh, yeah, definitely the fairy girl. <laughs> Look and at the, the cleavage. Look oh at the my, cleavage oh on my this Lord. one. Oh, my Lord. Wowie kapowie. Whoa. I'm not a fish, I'm a dragon. She doesn't even know what a dragon is. Dragon fish. Here's a tip. To get through these ruins, you'll have to follow the markers. Uh, thanks, but once again, I'm not a fish, I'm a dragon. Oh, a Lily, sea, huh? a sea dragon. dragon. No, I'm not a sea dragon. <gasps> okay, Spyro, chill. Spyro, jeez. Chill with the like misogyny. Yeah, dude. Stupid bitches. Like, come on. I anyway, know he didn't say that, but that was the implication. Anyway, back to her tits. <laughs> 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 Look at the hawkers on this one. Wow, anyway, Spyro, uh, real uh... misogynist. <laughs> uh, mis yeah, <laughs> Spyro, chicks, really? <laughs> anyway, mermaid, more like mermommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, appreciating a nice, a nice animated nice, tit yeah. is is better than it is absolutely than the the character that exists in the universe of the animated girl calling yeah. her a chick. Yeah, I'm being comedically pedantic with ourselves. <laughs> I think we are in the right here, and <laughs> she was in the wrong. <laughs> for, so you're saying she asked for it. <laughs> for having such delicious mommy milkers. <laughs> <laughs> I met he, but I had to keep going with the joke. Or I would fail myself. Uh oh, I see, I see. I can't fail myself, you see. Yeah, no, I mean, he certainly couldn't backpedal at any point. No, 
I have to stick with everything that I do <laughs> because I honor my word. Wow. Yeah. I'm really good. I'm. Uh, they call me Integrity Katsaras. Let's call her Zoe Q Word Bird. <laughs> Zoe Q Word Bird, yep. Yep. Actually, Q has been me all along. <laughs> Look at how he swims. It's a little humpy. Yeah, he's just humping the water, let's be honest. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this thing. Excuse me, can I please... Mm, maybe if I... Can I electric breath underwater? But really, if you think about it, so do Olympic swimmers. They hump? They're all just water humpers. <laughs> I used to be a swimmer, you know this. Right, so you're a water humper too. And the butterfly was my specialty, which I think is the humpiest of all the moves. Go back where you came from, water humper. <laughs> Where do they come you from? You freaky water humper, you. Wait, what is where they came from, though? You freaky water humper. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Where did I come from? I don't know. Hell? <laughs> I don't know. The bowels of hell? <laughs> <laughs> don't ask me where the water humpers come from. That's you. That is me. It's a me and fish. And then I smacked you. No! Because you were being rude. I loved being that fish right up until you smacked it. Yeah. Well, I didn't just smack it. I brutally murdered it, so... Well, anyway, all Olympic swimmers are just filthy water humpers. <laughs> I didn't realize until today, but now I know this fact. Is it an indisputable fact? Indisputable. Unassailable. Wow. Hard as diamond. You really have your um, opinions, don't you? I do. I keep them in a lunchbox underneath my dick. <laughs> it's the only place you should be saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you really think you're so funny, I love don't you? you? <laughs> Unbelievable. You're a disgrace. <laughs> Stupid. What the smell? <laughs> Wait, you never told me what your perfume smells like, you jackass. I, you literally smell me every day. No, like, I, I don't. I don't have to explain what I smell like. I, uh, but I mean, what is the perfume? Like, what is it about? Like, like you were like, oh, I love this perfume because it smells like... It's a like... little musky. I don't know. Has anyone in chat worn Burberry Brit before? Burberry no. Brit? Burberry Brit. It's very popular. Every time someone's wearing it, I'm like, oh, you're wearing Burberry Brit. And they're like, why are you hitting on me? And I was like, I literally just smelled you. Okay, All I was look, doing was giving you a sniff. I'm going to smell this freaking Brit, this Burberry Brit. It was the bottle that my ex got me for my birthday. It's the, my favorite thing that I got from her. Not any lessons learned, just hmm. this perfume. Hmm. Wait, another gadget? Do I have enough life, life like... <laughs> Let me try I just feel like if you li if like it's like your favorite smell, you'd be able to say some things about it other than just sniff me. <laughs> just sniff me. Replica Fox says, "Why do you want people to sniff you? I got some dinner and walked into that." Because I wear Burberry Brit perfume, even though Casey smells me every fucking day and sits two but feet I don't, away from me. But I don't me. sniff you. I just, you're in the same room, you're, but I'm not like uh, smelling you. I'm sorry. You. Would you call this proximity in the same room? Yeah, you're but literally I don't know, a foot but I away from me. But you I should don't. be able to smell what I smell like. Well, I don't smell a strong cologne smell. So I asked earlier, we were talking about favorite smells. Zoe's like, my favorite smell is my Burberry Brit. Yeah, my fucking perfume. No, we were, perfume. Talking about, we were talking about Burberry, and then you were like, Burberry Brit is my favorite smell. And I was like, your favorite smell, A. What yeah. does it smell like? And she was like, you smell me constantly. <laughs> yeah. All you do is smell me. And I'm like, I feel like this is a mischaracterization of my general behavior. Casey. And then... Uh, and then I said, explain it more, and she's like, it's, uh, it's like, uh, uh, just sniff me. And I was like, no, I'm not going to sniff you. I'm just literally tell wearing me. it right I'm now. I'm like, what does it smell like? And then she's like, ah, it's like, it's like kind of musky. <laughs> it's all she's got. It's a very distinct scent. Yeah, it's so, hard to describe. Describe. so distinguish it with words. Well, why don't you describe the color blue? Like, you can't do that. Like, it's no, hard not for the me same to as describe smell. the scent. Compare, of com Brit. compare the scent to other scents. I don't know. It's musky. Like, that is as close as I can get. Like, I'll give you a sniff and a bit. 
So your favorite smell is musk water. <laughs> well, when you say it like that, it's really annoying. Your favorite no, smell. That's like, not I was what like, I'm saying. I was like, oh, Burberry, so expensive. And you're like, my favorite smell is musk water. That's the conversation we had you're, earlier. You're literally so mean to me, and you're full of mean and fear. Full of mean and fear? Yeah. I'll show you mean and fear. That's you're terrifying. <laughs> I'm terrified. Now I feel terrified. Oh, I'm full of mean I and fear? I just fucking died oh, because oh, you're full of mean oh, and fear. Oh, I'm full of mean and fear? Well, wait until you see how scared you are after I'm mean to you. <laughs> you may fucking die. <laughs> Rebecca Fox knows what Burry Bray Brit smells like. Because Ooh. she's a Burberry Brit. So look at it. Look, Rebecca Fox already dropping way more adjectives in, in I literally than... said musk. We use the same word. Like, I don't no. understand. What's this, like, she's, moral high ground that you're taking? She said, is it like a sandalwood musk? That's Or whatever. cinnamon, kind of. Oh, is she asking? Yes. Oh, I thought she was telling. No, she's she's trying to help us get this figured out. Wow, you guys, both of you, like, stop asking and just start knowing. Oh, fuck. What? <laughs> oh, God. What have we gotten ourselves into? Was that a little right wing of me to say? Maybe. Um, it's, 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 it's more like a sandal woody musk. Okay. I'll, I'll answer Replica Fox question. If you had said like if you had her. said it's like a sandalwood musk, I'd be like, oh, it, interesting. Okay, but instead you were like, smell me. <laughs> if you are so curious of how I smell, perhaps you should put your nostrils to my skin. <laughs> and I was like, I don't want to do this. Just tell me sandalwood musk. Oh my god, I'm so dizzy. <laughs> and it could all be over. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a bad friend. I'm full of mean and fear. You're so bad. Well, we all know this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't cry and whine your way out of this one. I can cry and whine my way out of fucking anything. Fuck you. <laughs> Crying and whining is my one true, my one true skill. I love to cry and whine. Uh -huh. and give me a break. Rebecca Fox said, I got beefed on for trying to help. No! <laughs> yeah, no beefing on Replica Fox. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> you do take your side, Replica Fox. <coughs> no, I took her side because she is cool. And I answered her question because oh, okay. she's nice and fun oh, and you're a big bully. Okay, got it. Yes, yes. She's cool and great and you're Whatever, rude whatever. And whatever. You're a dumb fart. You are one word away from victory. If you had just said sandalwood in front of the word musk. Is that could, what it could, takes could, for you to feel like could, someone's victorious? We could, we could live in an alternate timeline. But instead you were like, eh, it's like, it's, you said you're like, smell me. And then you were like, it's like musk. Okay, so you're asking, I just want to be very clear. You're uh -huh. asking me to describe the scent of something mm -hmm. that I'm currently wearing. Yeah. You have the opportunity to inhale through your nose and you won't even okay. need a description. Okay, okay, let's spin the tables around on this one. What do I smell like? I don't know because you're not wearing fucking perfume. I wear, I wear moisturizer that has a delightful aroma. You wear a lot of coconut oil sometimes. It's not coconut oil. It's a specific moisturizer that has a sweet vanilla coconut There's aroma. There's a difference between you putting on fucking lotion and me dousing myself in an inappropriate amount of perfume. I'm going to smell more than you. I put on enough perfume so that people know when I'm coming around the corner so they know to stop talking shit. I do it on purpose. I don't, because I don't, I don't, don't ever want to know when people are talking shit about I, me. I don't think you stink of musk water, <laughs> personally. Because I always assume I'm being talked about, and I want people to stop talking about me before I walk in. So look, I want them to be like, oh, it smells like Burberry Brit. So he's look, coming. Look, first of all, I don't need you belittling how much my moisturizer stinks. I assure you, it stinks quite a lot. <laughs> And uh, and I I wear it partly because I mean a for the moisture yes but also for the delightful aroma. And my point is, if you ask me what does it smell like, I can say 
It's a sweet vanilla coconut. Well, yeah, but Burberry Brit isn't like it doesn't smell like things that exist. It's it's oh so sense. sandalwood as sandalwood no. blinked out of existence. No, <laughs> is musk is musk now has been sucked away into a black hole. No. And now no, there is no musk. There is no sandalwood. Or is everyone at home oh going like, God. what are these strange sounds coming from that man's mouth? Musk? Sandalwood? What are these things? Surely not things that exist. I'm literally so mad. <laughs> I feel completely bullied and made fun of. I feel like a shell of my past self. You just have to admit that you should figure out how to describe smells. I don't know how to describe <laughs> smells. Like, I don't know. Like, things smell like... They're like... This, mm -mm. this smells mm -mm. like joy. Mm -mm. Or this smells no. like the beach. They're I like, don't know. They're like flavors for your nose. Not really. I don't think smell and I, taste are that similar. I think they're... I think they're, uh... I think they're flavors for your nose. No! Why are you... you? I feel gaslit in this moment. <laughs> well, Eric says it's described on the website <coughs> as crisp, icy pear, sugared almond, and intense vanilla. Well, that's that sounds like a wonderful smell. Ooh, Replica Fox has the full breakdown. Top notes wow, are almond she looked lime it up affair. too. Middle notes are candy almond, sugar and peony. Base notes are vanilla, tonka bean, amber, and mahogany. I said sandalwood. That's basically mahogany. It's it's, 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 it's mahogany adjacent. It's wood. So everyone, leave me alone. Oh, do you, unless you use the man version. No, I use the girl version. Oh, okay, the the girl version sounds better. The girl version uh, it smells nice. Man is I, ginger, I did, cardamom, green I do, mandarin, I do and like a good man perfume. I, is any man perfume called cologne, or or is it is, is it, it perfume uh, for perfume for for cis boys? Like what do you call it? I think perf I think cologne is just a gendered word for perfume okay. for men, cool, cool, right? Cool, cool, cool. I didn't know if I was like a different <laughs> I thing. Think? I don't know. Google king and queen. Why don't you I mean, look it up? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't <laughs> use any of that in perfumes or colognes. I use a delicious moisturizer. So I don't know. I don't know any of these it's things. It's not delicious, Casey. If it were delicious, I would notice. It's, it's delicious. It's lovely, I'm sure, and makes you smell great. But it does. I would notice it, it if it were delicious, and I don't know. Or maybe just people don't like have don't like always know exactly how any person they're in a room with smells. I, I don't know. I feel like generally, you know, we're all just going for like not being smelled too much until you get close. That's well, my goal, I guess. My mom told me that when I was a teenager, she said to me before I knew what deodorant was or like how to use it, she used to say, you're smelling very Burger King today. And I really, <laughs> I really, it shaped how I am as a person in the world. So I, I noticed smells. She said you smelled like Burger King? Yeah, that's what B.O. was to her, apparently. You're and smelling apparently very Burger King. apparently I had King. issues with B.O. when I was like nine years old, and my mom would be like, you're smelling very Burger King. Was it like a code word so that you wouldn't be embarrassed? Yeah, she'd be like, it's uh, a little Burger King up in here, and then I'd have to put on deodorant. <laughs> Did I did I develop in the same way as a fourteen year old boy into my adolescence? Probably, at least under my armpits. <laughs> well, Replica Fox says perfume will mix with your natural scent to smell different, which makes sense if on you it has a deeper smell. Ha ha. Because I'm a deep bitch. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God! Did you smell how that Burberry Brit smelled on her? That's a deep bitch. That's yes. Yeah. 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 That's why that's why hmm. I have no problem getting girls because they smell me and they're like, "Wow, she smells deep." What I've learned today is that I should sniff everyone intensely. Yes. So that I can win these arguments. I couldn't have been clearer. <laughs> I'm glad you finally fucking get it. From now on, whenever I Cuz there's nothing meet there's nothing an innocent girl trying to live her life in the world loves more than being intensely sniffed yeah. by a man. I'll be like, nice to meet you. Which part do you like to have sniffed? For my... If someone... If for someone, my olfactory catalog. If someone 
came up to me and said that, truly, I think I would be so <laughs> astonished that I wouldn't even be upset. I think I'd be like so taken aback that someone had the nerve to say something like that to me. That, I, yeah. I'd be a little impressed. That's the trick. Yeah, I guess. Why does he only have three lives? Like, this is stupid. Super stupid. This is impossible. Oh my god. Literally? <laughs> Bubba Fox said I would just hand them a wrist for the sheer confidence. <laughs> Good move. I think I would do that too. Someone came up to me, is it which part of you do you like to be sniffed? <laughs> like, well, I guess my wrist. No, see, I just like take my pants off and say, Have at it, Buster! <laughs> That's what I would do. <laughs> and jokes have on that. Have at it, Buster. Have at it, Buster. I was gonna get really personal for a second when I remembered that I'm in a public forum. <laughs> that I can't say some of the things that come into my head. I was about to say something like very much like too far. <laughs> Fantastic. But I just want everyone to know that the thought that came into my head was very funny. And also, I can't say that on stream. Have at it, Buster. Is that not what you say? Uh, no, that's what I hear from all women. I used to get in trouble. <laughs> I used to get in trouble in uh, intimate moments with partners because uh, sex is kind of a joke to me. I like it. I, I, uh, this, is, this, is, this goes back into my theory of I might be asexual. Um, but like sex has to be a joke to me or I don't like it. Mm. And, um, <laughs> and I would get in trouble for like making jokes and cracking lies. And, um, <laughs> go sit in the corner. <laughs> one time, one time. <laughs> go put on the dunce cap. <laughs> one time. No joking during sex. One time I was in the back of a vehicle with a partner of mine. And, um, I decided it would be very funny if, uh, like in Family Guy, I put on a very heavy Midwestern accent and started saying, oh crap, oh crap. Which I thought was the funniest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> she did not agree. Um, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh was, crap. I thought it was fucking hysterical and she was like, that's not funny. Like, I've never been more offended. She's like, that's not funny. You're under arrest. <laughs> she was like, that's not funny. You're under arrest. And to the same partner, one time, um, I took my entire left boob and um, came up from behind her and smacked her in the head with <laughs> And, and also, she did not find that sexy or funny. So I, I, I really, I'm uh, going to say I don't understand <laughs> sex or women. Um, <laughs> because apparently they don't think I'm funny. Oh, you just need to find the right gal. That's what I'm saying. I was like, it's such a funny game. Sex is a funny game. Well, I, well, is it I don't, intimate this... and passionate? No, it's a funny game full of laughs. Well, but it seems like this boob attack was not during like a a a a, a jointly approved sexual <laughs> no, no. episode. It was like it was during the like the, like pillow talk period immediately after. Oh, okay. you know when you're supposed to be all like, mm, like how oh, nice, like oh that was so nice. Yeah, yeah, it was Instead during that. Instead, you were like <laughs> roasted. Well, it's certainly surprising. Certainly funny. Oh, funny. Certainly funny from a third she person was like, perspective. She was like, uh, so like, she was like slouched down a little shorter than me, so I just went, wow, like, yeah. on top. It was funny. It was hysterical. You know what? She probably would have laughed if you boxed her ears with your boobs. <laughs> that was probably your mistake. I should have. Like, you needed come to come in from both her. sides. Like, I should have just. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what's the purpose of having boobs if not to use them for attacks? No, it's, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> Riddle me this. That's why God grafted them Riddle on. Riddle me this. I just have so much trouble, like being like, yeah. I want to, you know what I mean? Sure. And 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 it's 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 crazy because like, sex isn't like taboo. I'm not like like puritan. Right, 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 right. But it's also I'm like ew. <laughs> you know, but from a really authentic place. Yeah. Replica Fox is right. You share a secret. It's not a secret anymore. Well, then I guess I have not. You done de-secreted your boob attack. 
I want that to Sally. be on my, on my tombstone. Zoe Katsaris. De- <laughs> she done de-secreted her boob attack. <laughs> but, like, nothing else. I don't uh, want it to be, like... A, no date. No R.I.P. No, no, none of that. Dude, boring, honestly. Blank slate. Truly boring. <clears throat> I think everyone's de-secreted a boob attack at some point in their life. Who needs to put a name on a tombstone when it says she done de-secreted her boob attack? You'll have the only one. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Couldn't be couldn't be more accurate. Everyone <laughs> get smacked. Wow! Now you guys are calling me names? <laughs> You tell her, teleportee. Wow. <laughs> I don't, listen, I entrusted you with pure information, and you're giving me attacks? Did you say pure information? <laughs> I don't know why that's the word I chose. I trusted you with pure information. <laughs> I meant, like, like... It like makes sincere. it sound so profound, like you were, like, jacked into a cosmic alien supercomputer. <laughs> It's pure information! Uh. <laughs> I have given you <laughs> pure information! And now you throw it in the dirt! You're, yeah! Damn. <laughs> the pure information of the time I smacked my girlfriend in the head with my dick! Come Why with me, me and you'll see <laughs> In a world of pure information I'll tell you about the oh time God. I smacked my <coughs> boob on someone's head <laughs> If you want to view you, you made boob me attacks boob from laughing, you Simply listen asshole. to my story <laughs> This is I why promise I don't you smoke it's not weed. too gory. This is why I don't smoke weed, because I get way too funny. <laughs> <laughs> too funny. Pure information. I start leaking pure information every time I smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> oh, what my happened? Lord. Oh, I accidentally turned on the contraption. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant. <laughs> no, I don't. You know what I meant. You mean like explicit truth? Yes, okay, that's okay. literally what I meant. Okay. And I'm sorry, but pure information <laughs> and explicit truth are interchangeable words. <laughs> they b- are both in the thesaurus <laughs> for each other. Yeah, I, okay, well, okay. I mean, information doesn't have to be true, per se. Yeah, but look. Or maybe, does then it become disinformation the moment it's not true? Oh perhaps. My God. Or I'm misinformation. Sure. Yeah. Because disinformation is intentional, and misinformation is just plain wrong. Ugh. Know your facts. Anybody, if you want to be a, loved at parties, just tell people that about the difference between dis and misinformation. Oh my god. You'll really be the talk of the town. Yeah. That's everyone's favorite fact. All Everybody's underpants will be blasting through the floor. <laughs> the moment they hear what that. What does that even mean? Like, you know, like rocketing downwards <laughs> with such force that, that underpants explode through the floor. But like at their... Smash through the floor. But like... Because they put them down, or they just because they're fly so aroused. Off? Yeah, they're so aroused that they're oh, underpants. Oh, just fly. Launch. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. Sure. Got hey, look, it. I guess you've never uh, charmed a whole bar full of people before, <laughs> but those of us who have are well, uh, well accustomed to the underpants through the floor phenomenon. I have charmed a whole bar full of people. What are you talking about? <laughs> they were faking it. <laughs> wow! If their under, if their under, ass. if their underpants, okay. if their underpants didn't blast through the floor, I don't know. You are really mean. <laughs> wow! Truly upset. Full I'm of upset. mean and fear. You're full of mean and fear. Good God! 
No, no, I'm sure you've charmed bars full of people, Zoe. I've seen you do it. Yeah, just because I was on drugs does not mean that I didn't charm a bar. Yeah, you're just like, you know, you're just like, if you charmed them just a little more. Just a little more. Wait, where's the exit? Boom, 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 boom. <gasps> oh, undies, no, no, undies, no, 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 undies, no, no. undies. I slam, died. slam, smash, smash. Undies smashing through the floor. Boom, 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 boom. Is that how it goes? That's how it goes. Wow. If you just like... Like 10% more charm. If I use 10% <laughs> more charm, undies will smash through the floor? Yes. I guarantee you they're already they're already vibrating with the charm level you're at now. You just can't see under people's clothes. And I don't if, wish to. But if you really want them to smash through the floor, I'm just saying, kick it up a notch. Okay. Give that extra 10%. I'll do my best. 110%. You're giving 100%. I need 110%. Okay. So All I have to do is charm the whole bar? 110%, and, yes. And underwear will smash through the floor? Yes, everyone's underwear. Whoa. Is this is this uh, pure information? This is pure information, my friend. <laughs> this is actually um, Enter the Void. Yeah. Has anyone seen Enter the Void in our chat? Hello? <laughs> Answer me now! <laughs> <laughs> Have any of you seen Enter the, the Void? It's so fucking good. <clears throat> um, you still need to see Climax. Yeah. That movie made me so uncomfy. It was pure discomfort for two hours. He's good at that. What's his name? Gaspar Noe. Gaspar Noe. What else did he do? He did Enter the Void, Climax. Um, There's Irreversible. Another... Oh, love! He did love, love on Netflix, which yes. is the which is the movie on Netflix that opens with a couple sixty nining. Yeah, it's literally full everything. Like you see it all. Yeah, and it's like sweet and tender. It's so nice. <laughs> it's a slow, sweet, tender sixty nine. Yeah. I am a little stupid bitch. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I did that at work today by accident. Yeah, what happened? Were you, <laughs> my uh, were was, you given a medal? <laughs> my coworker was alarmed. <laughs> she was like. <laughs> 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 Apparently, not everyone finds that funny. Yeah, no, people kind of. charming. People kind of need to be, know you, be a little prepared for that. <laughs> the person, person they barely know to go. I am a stupid bitch. Yeah, teleport T is right. How how long is this? We've been in the sewer for days. I literally am in a completely new part of the sewer. Like, what? What? Are you joking? No! This is a new area! It is a new area, I guess. Can you make it newer? I'm back at the beginning, guys. Look, the whole map is open now. I'm back at the beginning. Oh, you opened up the whole I'm sewer? literally leaving now. So everyone can take oh, your panties oh, out of the bunch. Thanks. Thank Get your butt. panties out of a bunch. I'm going home. Thank but. Here, I'm just gonna teleport out of here since everyone is so offended. Get out of the sewer. It stinks like the the sewer. <clears throat> Unbe freaking leaveable. It stinks like sandalwood musk down here. <laughs> oh, Spyro. I'd make you the children's godfather, except I know you'd rather have a light gem. So here. Straight from my cooter. <laughs> Why? You ruined it. It's ruined. You ruined everything. Straight from my cooter. <laughs> like a bullet from a gun. <laughs> so uh, another example of me being morally questionable is ah. I had a crush on this girl who used to come into my coffee shop. But sure, she was sure. one of those, um, you know, modern day Christians. Uh -huh. The one that go to those millennial churches, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, you mean like a, like like a cool? Yeah, church. like the cool church. Yeah. And like, I had a hey, really I big... just want to rap with you, man. Yeah, no, that yeah. kind of church. Yeah, yeah. And so I had a really big crush on her, and so. What have you done? Yes, Liza Koshi. That's who I'm talking about. You got it. Um. And I had a really big crush on this girl, so I pretended to be a Christian and started attending weekly Bible study no! at the Millennial Church. What are you, a Breaking Bad character? So I pretended to be a Millennial Christian and started attending the Bible study um, so that I could sit with this girl. 
and flirt with her um, <laughs> at her church during church. And so I um, amazing. And who goes to this church but Liza? So we used to have these big uh. events, and Liza was probably the most famous member of this church. Mm -hmm. um, so people would swarm around her all the time. And she was such a ham, mm -hmm. like the hammiest ham. Like she really knew she was the most famous person at that church. Queen ham. But um, anyway, uh, this girl who I had a crush on that I was pretending to be a Christian for is now married with a child. Holy Stupid. shit. Dumb. But yeah, and what I would do during Bible study was I would, because um, I was a yoga teacher at the time, I would say quotes from my yoga class huh. during the Bible study, and they'd be like, wow, like, that's amazing, like, so insightful, you really understand the word of the Lord. Uh, and I was like, ah! <laughs> what a prankster. I really... I mean, wouldn't you pretend to be a Christian for... <laughs> A crush. Look, you know, you you Come were, on. you wanna do it. You were a child raised on sitcoms. You can't be blamed for that kind of behavior. It's fun and funny. That's sitcom behavior. Listen. And then you're supposed to get caught. Like I cat like I go there to like deliver some donuts or something. And then I'm like, Zoe, <laughs> what are yeah, you doing exactly. here? And they're like, and uh, I'm like leaving. And you're like, the oh, Bible I love study. I just love Jesus. This and I'm like <laughs> This little gay leading the Bible study. Yeah. Little did everyone know. You can't be held responsible. I was a frequent drug user. For your, your sitcom <laughs> condition. Who slept with exclusively women hijacking Bible study yeah. with her Buddhist quotes. <laughs> um, it's a funny story. It is. I think it's funny. Soup's funny. <laughs> funny as soup. Funny as soup. <laughs> funny soup. Funny soup. Funny soup. Funny soup. Look at these little chickens. Can they run kind of weird. Can you make them into uh, cooked chicken to eat? Uh, probably. Probably. You're lying to me. <laughs> Speaking of cooked chicken to eat, what do we want for dinner? I want um, a swift kick in the pants. <laughs> I don't think I can give that to you. <laughs> I don't think that's something that uh, I can provide. I don't know. Blumbus? Blumbus? Is that is some, that a delicacy? Some fresh uh, fresh roasted Blumbus? Is that like whale? Ew! <laughs> what do you that's mean, not ew? right, Zoe. What do you mean, ew? Whales are the, 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 whales mean, are the reason uh, any of us are here today. Are they? <laughs> Is, is the reason any of us are here today whales? Yeah. Well, you think, I don't you know think if I agree. You think we'd be here without whales? I'd like to see the math on that one. So would I. <laughs> yeah, well, because maybe I we'll think see it someday. you're a little someday. misinformed, Maybe Mr. we'll Ketzeris. see it someday. Maybe we'll see the math behind your everyone could be here without whales hypothesis. Wow. You know, I know I always say gaslighting, calling things gaslighting is bad because it negates the effects of actual narcissistic abuse, but I'm feeling pretty gaslit. <laughs> that, with all that preamble, you could have just said, I am being gaslit. No. Friendly banter is good. Casey and I have pretty extreme friendly banter. <laughs> like, I would describe our banter as friendly, and also some people would see it as bullying. <laughs> 40 light gems. No, I'm just trying to save. Get out of here. It's, it's, it's consensual two-way bullying. Consensual two-way bullying. That's what they call it. That's what everyone calls it. Duh you know anything about anything. Where is Zoe? Zoe is oh, the little- the other fairy. Zoe is the fairy that saves your progress. My name is Zoe. No, that's Trina. Trina, you're useless. Who cares about Trina? I certainly don't. Does it save when I die? Does it oh, die? it sure does. Does it <laughs> die when you save? There's Zoe. Look at her, nice. cutie. Thanks, Zoe. All right. The fairy. 
Good night, friends Good night, and Replica Fox. And good Much n- love. Uh, Thanks for hanging. Yes, thank you everyone who is here. We'll see you friends on Monday. Super fun. What I a... will probably be a little late on Monday. Not oh. too late, but a little late. Oh, and it sounds like Pip is excited. Pip knows. Hey, Pip, do you, uh, do you want to go on a bathroom break? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you didn't see it at home, but he just did like the biggest shake. And I heard like, it went... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Pip, do you want to go to bathroom break? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Tell us. <laughs> yeah, you want to go to bathroom break? Pippi, are you being are you being nice because we're on the air? Are you Pippi, being quiet? Are you being quiet? You're more considerate than some people. Oh, Pippi. Um, but uh, but yeah, we will be back on Monday at noon Pacific Standard Time for more of the Casey and Zoe thing. And uh, until then, have a spectacular weekend. And uh, we will see you on the flippy dippy. See you on the flip. And we love you madly. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.